ADA restarted with one hour chart. Just want to give a quick update. If you refer to my last analysis, since the price was within this correction, we mentioned if you get any opportunity for buy, we'll take it. And since the price was within here, we have been looking for buy. And the first target we have been looking for was 1.65, following by 1.8 as the second target. As we can see, this is what we get. And we see the breakout of this correction. And for those traders, they get the trade right now. I think they should take out the trade in the small profit. And right now, we want to see whether this one can tend to a correction for continuation or we can expect the price to drop. And if you put this one in relative to the previous one, if you refer to the indicators, we see we have a divergence. But based on MACD, we don't have a divergence, all right? The reason is if the price, this one tend to a correction, we can look for the next trade. But if the price we see is going to drop, we should know about this flat fall and relative to this for the next drop. Anyway, we start with higher time frame. We want to see what's the next. And if we move to daily chart, based on daily chart, we mentioned the bigger picture, we're looking at this one. That's why I mentioned if you get any opportunity for buy the reversal, we will take it. This is what we're looking for. But we mentioned we can expect the price to consolidate here for a longer time before we get the reversal. That's why we mentioned if you get any opportunity for buy, we will take it and we consider it as a short term. But we, if we want to look for buy, we don't want to see the breakout of 1.4 because with the breakout of 1.4, the possibility for price to drop 1.0 is very high. Because with the breakout of 1.2, we can expect the price drop to 1. Anyway, based on daily chart, we don't see any reversal, any opportunity for buy. And if we move to forward chart, similar explanation, we get the move we have been looking for. And we mentioned with the breakout of 1.65, we have been looking for 1.8. The price couldn't tag 1.8, almost the highest price we could get is 1.75. Because with the breakout of 1.8, we are looking for 1.96. All right. By the way, the only thing is, at this point, we don't have any trade setup either for buy or sell. And we should know that how about, it, how about if this one turned to flatten relative to this for the next drop? That's why if he wants to look for the next trade, we have to wait for the correction. And based on forward chart, we don't have any trade setup. And if you move to one hour chart, first things, for those traders, they get the trade either from here or from here. Move their sub loss to break even or book some profit if they want to keep the trade or they can take out the trade in the profit. And if you want for, to look for the next trade setup, we have to wait for the correction. Any reversal, at this point, if you get any reversal as a short move flag, either based on one hour or 15 minutes, we can take the trade. But at this point, we don't have any trade setup. The reversal as a short move flag, this is the only option. Anyway, we just follow the chart. If I see any update, I will share. Thanks.